All right, everyone, thank you for tuning back in the Psych Word Radio Show. You are now on the couch with Rob Gerard, and on the line right now, we have winner of the eighth season of America's Got Talent, Kenichi Abina. Kenichi, how you doing? Very good. How are you? Um, thank you. Doing well. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Excited to have you on. Thank you thank so, for having me. Uh, Kenichi, your, yes. your act is so unbelievably original. Can you tell us well, a little, what, what, what? Tell us about that. Um, I don't know if it's like you know original, original, but like how I make it my act, you know, the unique is the kind of combining many different you know elements in a one, you know, in the act. Maybe that's what. Yeah, I mean, people. We've seen the dance before. We've seen the the separate elements, but the way you bring it all together, you really seem to make it your own. I mean, you were going up against some stiff competition on America's Got Talent, and out of everyone, you won. Was that a surprise to you? How 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 much did you expect to win? What was that like? Oh, uh, in the beginning, of course not. You know, it's like a seventy five thousand ads. You know, uh, you know, there are too many. And, and I never expected to win, of course. Yeah, a lot, a lot of acts. I mean, you have some incredible singers, but it's something like what you do, it just really stands out. You know, it, it really uh, stood out. And especially that final piece that you did. How long did it take for you to prepare for that final act on, on that won everything for you? Final act? Uh, the uh, With the uh, multiple characters? Yes. Oh, uh, that one actually two days. Um, in a tour of the final, uh, we don't we didn't have much time to prepare. So one day shooting for the older casters against the green screen, and the second day the editing, and that's it. So it wasn't actually that good, you know, in my point of view. It wasn't synced you know, well, and then um, it was rough. So in your opinion, you're looking back at it, and you're saying, I could have done better? Yeah, if I had more time, yes. You know, I just have so much respect for what it is that you do. Like you said, you only had two days to prepare. Now, if I'm a singer, all right, if I'm a singer and I have an incredible voice, Usually, you know, you could you you could pick up on a song, and all you have to do is memorize the lyrics, and you can go out there and sing it. But for you, I think people are expecting you to bring something new and different every time. And if you only have two days to prepare, that's got to be a lot of pressure on you. Yeah, I mean, I already had a plan. I mean, I already had an idea what I wanted to do, but like we can't really proceed to pre- preparation until we know the result you know, a week before. So for the, uh, the semi-final, uh, no, no, the top 12, whatever, the you know, one before the final. On Wednesday, that, uh, that was a result day. So we get to know the who's going to you know, move forward to the final. And then uh, so as soon as we know on Wednesday, we start, you know, actual like process of creation for the next, you know, the the final one. Then uh, basically on a Thursday, uh, I did a shooting. Then the Friday editing, and on a, by the Saturday we have to be ready for the tech rehearsal on the stage. So uh, it was a really, you know, heck, I mean, crazy busy. Yeah, I, I I bet. Now, how has being on the show changed you? What's changed in your life since you won last year? Uh, okay. First of all, my rate went up a lot, <laughs> which is good, <laughs> you know. Um, then I get, I get more inquiries, you know, than before. And that, you know, I have a lot of people, you know, um, talking about the future deal, which I'm working on it. Some of the you know, bigger shows, for example, in you know, Vegas. Now, have you gotten contacted by the by younger dancers? Because really, you know, you know, there's 
you know, it's not like you invented dancing or anything. There, there's always going to be that small percentage of people that, you know, that dance and that kind of do along the lines of what you've done. But given that you won America's Got Talent, you got to think that you've inspired this whole new generation of people that want to do what you yeah. do. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's one of the things that I'm happy about it. Um, but the, the one thing that I want to make sure is I'm not a dancer. I mean, I'm, I explain myself. Uh, as a dance-ish performance, because I don't know what to say. Yeah, dance-ish. Uh, yeah. What I what I do, um, but I, I'm not really focusing on a dance. Like as a you know skill skill wise, I'm not a good dancer. But like uh, you know, as a total like entertainment, as a total as a show, I think I'm good at the putting the you know many different materials together. Yes. And then for the younger dancers, probably, you know, like younger dancers, technical-wise, they're way better than, uh, you know, I do. But some, you know, you know, younger dancers or not even older dancers, they ask me for what, you know, how they can set up. And um, I just tell them, be creative or be on your your own style create your own style mm. it, you know it's hard to be the best or top the number you know to become a number one in this category it's hard and there are so many billions of dancers out there and to be the best in that specific field it's very hard and you have to work hard but uh, I'm lazy you know, <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to practice I don't want to do the, uh, you know, like walk out, that kind of stuff. So I try to be unique, different from, you know, others. Mm. That makes me, yeah, kind of stand up, I think. Now, you, when did you come to um, the United States? Uh, 1994. 94? Mm-hmm. And you graduated from the University of Bridgeport? Yes. And that's right in Connecticut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and we're right now I'm uh, I'm in a uh, Westport Beach right now. Really? My family, yes. Oh, uh, how beautiful is that? We're right out of New Haven, so that works great. So you're representing Connecticut. We love it. We love it. <laughs> Connecticut loves <laughs> you, man. Connecticut, but uh yeah, that's where I kind of grew up. I mean, not grew up as a, I mean, as a performer. Yes. Like I started dance, I started performance when I was at the University of Bridgeport. Then that's really that you know, like five six years. Yeah. 